Hello and welcome to an episode of Tottenham Transfer Talk with me, Reese, and Emma. Uh, now, we are only really going to be talking about three players in this. There's only really three to be talking about. Quite a quiet summer so far because so everyone's far. focused on the Euros. So far. So far. Uh, Wanyama, obviously, is the main one we'll be talking yes. about first. And then we'll be talking about Michi Batshuayi. Uh, and then we're talking about Janssen. Excellent pronunciation on Batshuayi. Thank you very Got much. Got used to it. I've been working on that. <laughs> I rehearsed for three hours for this video. Uh, now, Wanyama. Damn it. Uh, no, Wanyama. Uh, <laughs> Wanyama is uh, not rumoured. Wanyama no. is... Wanyama uh, is almost done. Almost done. At the, the time of recording, he is having a medical. Exactly. By the time you see this, it may all be done and dusted. We're going to presume that, that it's all going through. It's all I mean, done. it's always a bit scary to do that because we all know what happened with William. Yes, Try we not do. to. Yeah, we, do. we know what happened with William, but I'm this fairly confident this, this is, is not going to happen this time. Yeah. So, yeah, fees agreed, medical being done, all the terms are agreed. It's a good one. It's a goer. It's very exciting, I think. I was gutted when we missed out on him last summer. Mm -hmm. um, I think the price we paid for him is actually, I know he's only got a year left on his contract, but still in this current market. I think it's market, pretty, yeah, it's not much 11 money million, for, not really that bad. Relatively, is it? Yeah, it's not loads. Completely. And for a quality player that could become sort of a staple of the squad. Yeah. Absolutely. If anyone like, were to get injured, if Dembele or Dyer would have a spell out, you think Wanyama yeah. would. Well, you think that Wanyama would. You've got a player who could easily step in and start. Completely. And you think that with Dembele missing the first four games, that's probably where he's going to go, straight in with Dyer for those first four matches. That said, I think I said something quite similar about Stambouli. Oh, uh, but God. Wanyama is proven in the Premier League, whereas Stambouli wasn't. Yes. See? And he's worked with Poch before. See, don't go all miserable. There's no need to go no, miserable. No, I just mean so people happy, always send me channel. the clip of me talking about Stambouli <laughs> and Dembele last year. And uh, I don't want them to send me the one Yama one in a year's time. It's not going to happen. It's going to be fine. <laughs> okay, good. It's going to be fine. They'll send the good. clip of me and if, yeah, and, if, and if it's not, <laughs> send it to Emma. Okay, I don't want anything to do with it. I'm distancing myself from any opinion. <laughs> one Yama, no, but he's, the fact that he's worked with Poch, Poch now has to, have to get the best out yeah, of centre mids in general. But also, absolutely. One Yama has proven. So I totally. think it's very positive. And I think we're going to need like that kind of strength in that area of the pitch for the fact that we've got to count the Champions League with Premier League. Yeah, like we need more depth. Some of our Premier League games post Champions League weeks are actually really hard ones so we're going to need the depth because obviously we're going to play Dio Dembele in the Champions League you would think. So yeah. to be able to have Wanyama to rely on when you're facing exactly. Chelsea or whoever pretty good. I think it's an excellent signing yes. uh, that we've it's been a long time coming. It has been. Uh, now uh, Michi Bashuai Again? Was that okay? Twice. I thought that was worse. I felt I said it quicker that time because I was nervous. You were about nervous. Living up you didn't. To the, you didn't quite give it the, the hype the on oomph. my previous pronunciation. <laughs> but uh, now, uh, as far as I'm aware, Marseille have got money troubles that they need Massively. to resolve by. Is it 30th of June? Oh, I'm not sure on the date, but I know that they have big money troubles, which means. So, and he has said, well, he, in theory, I. I haven't seen a video of him saying it or anything, but I've read that he said he does want to come to Spurs. Yeah, I've seen quotes from France, so French media, saying that right. he actually really wants to come to Tottenham, like he's really hoping this deal gets done. Um, I well, think he's desperate to play in the Premiership, isn't he? Yeah. He's always said that, and he's got the Belgian boys probably bigging it up. Yes, standard. Exactly. They're all having a little Belgian loving now, you know. Yeah, and obviously he's got them, them all there, and he's got Chadley texting him. Oh, poor Chadley. I know, right. <laughs> poor Chadley. Oh, God, everyone's been invited to a birthday party except you, Nasser. Oh, uh, yeah, so I am hopeful. I mean, obviously, the wrangling's going to be over the fee, isn't it? And uh, we know what Levy's like when it comes to arguing over fees. Mm -hmm. It can take a while. But if they're in money troubles... If they're in money troubles, they've got to take... They can absolutely leave it. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, but not leave it too much, because I don't want to take the mick, because he's a really good player. Don't mind. Don't mind no, you don't mind mic. taking the mick. OK, you can take the mick. As long I'm, as we don't burn I'm our bridge fair. with Marseille who've always provided us with loads of players. <laughs> um, I think he'd be great. Obviously, we need a striker, don't we? Very much need a striker. We desperately He's need a striker. He's got a lot of mates in the squad. Yes. Presumably. I mean, I'm just presuming people of the same nationality are always friends. I don't know why I'm Hope presuming so. that. Um, yeah, this is maybe, true. Maybe actually. he hates Jan Vertonghen. Maybe they don't get on. Maybe that's why Jan's angry. Yes, maybe that's what it's Maybe doing. that's what it is. Uh, now I think He's looking be... at the bench going, I hate you. <laughs> I think it would be great, and not least because he's made it very clear that he wants to come, even though he knows he's not going to be first choice. And that, for me, is a really great attitude to have because the problem that we're... The issue that we're always going to have at the moment with buying the second striker or third striker yeah. is that they know that Harry Kane is the number one and will be. like that Unless he gets injured, God, please, God, no. Yeah, but yeah, unless yeah. he gets injured, he's going to be the name on the team sheet for every important game. But, yeah, he's, he doesn't, he, it seems like he's quite a young player. He wants to get yeah. in the Prem. He'd be quite happy to do that for a season or yeah, so. And, and have the chance to prove himself and Completely. try and get up there. Yeah. Um, and he can go alongside Clinton and G. Uh, <laughs> or Janssen. Yes. Now, he's a top scorer. He was top scorer in the Dutch League last year. What's uh, the Dutch League called? I can't remember. It's the Eredivisie. <laughs> uh, pronunciation is fun. Sorry, I'm being really mean. I'm just trying to trip him up the whole time. Um, uh, <laughs> now, he was top scorer in the Hans League. 
Uh, but as Barney pointed out earlier, so was Matthias Kessman. What is with all the negativity, <laughs> what do you you make guys? Of that? It's hey, God that's Barney's sake. point. I just wrote it down because I thought it was funny. The thing I'm going to say about Janssen, in Mitchell, I trust. Yeah. Okay. If so Paul, whatever Paul Mitchell says goes. Yeah. As far as if you look concerned. at who he signed last summer, you know people that we didn't know, and we're like, mm, really? Yeah, and look how great yeah, yeah. they've been. So I am. Yeah, in, Clint's in Mitch, been I trust. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I'm joking. I'm joking because I referenced him earlier. Uh, <laughs> he's only 21 or something, isn't yes. he? Uh, he got a lot of goals last year, and they're rumouring it'd be about 12 million. Yeah, which I think you, it's worth taking a risk. It's just for not that that much, money. It doesn't seem like that much relatively no. anymore, does it? it? So well, it's, it's really not. We sign all these. How much would we get back Shuai for? What, 20 well, might have to go to 20, I think. That's fair enough. Those I think they want 25, but I reckon Levy will argue them down. It's not that much, and we'll, he'll sell Ryan Mason for 30 million somehow, <laughs> and it'll be fine. Well, look, in a market where they're offering 25 million for Troy Deeney, I think it's safe to yeah. say that 12 million is a steal. Yeah, okay. I'd pay 10 million for Troy Deeney and take him happily, but no more, okay? <laughs> and I want you to take note of that, Levy. <laughs> and you, Watford. Because he watches. Obviously. Exactly, of course he does. <laughs> uh, so let us know your thoughts on those players. Uh, do you think Wanyama's a good signing? Do you agree with me and Emma that it'd be great with all the matches we're going to have to play and the fact that Poch has worked with them before? He's proven in the Premier League, that sort of stuff. Uh, Batshuayi, uh, try pronouncing that, guys, and send <laughs> us in your voice clips. No, don't do that. Can't be bothered to listen to them. Uh, but let us know in the comments if you think he'd be a good signing, how much you think we could get him for, what would be too expensive uh, to spend on him, uh, and can we manipulate Marseille's money troubles a little? Bit. Uh, a bit and obviously Janssen uh, top scorer in <coughs> and um, <laughs> would he be a good signing as well would he then have to kind of go third place I don't know um, but would he be good to get in the squad or would he be another Matai Kesman uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below any other rumours that you've heard uh, let us know about them we'd like to hear them uh, and know if you've got any inside track any any scoop any knowledge uh, and obviously subscribe to the channel if you're new drop us a like and we'll see you soon Hello and welcome to another edition of Spurverts. I'm Reese. I'm here with Emma as usual. Hello. We do not know where Craig is. Check his Snapchat. He's probably driving somewhere endlessly, talking about trainers or following Mika Richards around Dubai.